For our next deck of the Pro Tour Gauntlet, we have Makis Matsuka's Red-White Tokens list. Only running 22 lands, this deck runs very, very fast, aggressive creatures that can be pumped by not only Gideon, ally of Zendikar, but Reckless Bushwhacker as well. Let's see what this deck can do. Here we are for Game 1 with Makis Matsuka's Red-White Tokens deck. We're on the play, and we are going to go first. Rather, we won the die roll, and we're going to go first. And what do we have? Our hand is a little bit awkward for sure. I don't have another white source, or rather a red source, out of either hub, but I think this hand is too good to mulligan. We could go turn one either hub, use our energy to play a print Inventor's Apprentice, and then we can go turn two Copter to attack for two. So let's keep this hand and uh, see what it can do. Hopefully the Smuggler's Copter can draw into another red source, or I can just naturally draw one, which would be the, the best. Out number here is really, really good with this Servo Exhibition, so... Hoping we can do some uh, quick work of our opponent. Let's get an energy. Let's play that Inventor's Apprentice. And uh, next turn we get to Smuggler's Cop Copter. And well, the turn after that, hopefully crew it up with one of these Servo Exhibitions. Pretty good hand, I would say. Opponent leading with a Smoldering March, which means they could be on... The Grixis control deck uh, that Shota Yasoko was playing. And an island eh, basically confirms it. We'll see what the opponent can do here with... Oh, now I'm confused. Insolent Neonate is not exactly a card I expected to see. In fact, now I'm not sure what the opponent's doing here. Join of the Plains, which isn't the greatest. In fact, I'm not even going to play it out right now. I'm going to go ahead and play the Servo Exhibition. Uh, crew up the Thopter, or rather Copter, and uh, attack with both my creatures. I might want to discard the Planes, which is why I didn't play it here. Alright, did not draw another land, but... I think I might just discard the Planes. It's not really doing much for me here. And uh, get in for 5. Hopefully next turn I can... Uh, Again, find another red source. We really want to be able to cast two spells in one turn. All right, looks like the opponent's going to go ahead and block with their Neonate and um, rummage with it. Ah, Harvest, uh, Haunted Dead. Okay, so there was a few decks at the at the Pro Tour that played um, more a reanimator style. Would not be surprised to see prized amalgams from the opponent. This could be one of the uh, the more fun decks, of course. I think the the zombie deck or the red over the reanimate deck is quite nice, but uh, well, Maquise went, I, th I believe, uh, 9 0 and 1 with this deck, so. Alright, some more junky trunk here. I think we're gonna go ahead and try to play another servo exhibition. Gonna crew up the copter with uh, one of those servos. And try to attack in here. Let's see if we can get the smuggler's copter trigger. Man, I. I you know what would be really good against me? Radiant Flames. Right, it looks like we are going to get the Smuggler's Copter off, and <laughs> finding another Plains is not where I want to be. In fact, this time, though, I'm going to go ahead and discard the Inventor's Apprentice. This way, if I draw a Red Source next turn, I can Declaration in Stone and then Reckless Bushwhacker uh, Surged. I expect the Haunted Dead to make the way here, and yes, indeed, we see Prized Amalgam times 2 being discarded to Haunted Dead which then they a trigger immediately because you discard first and then return the Haunted Dead. So, wow, the opponent's actually going to go off a little bit here, but luckily we have the double declaration in stone to remove the prized amalgams next turn. Looks like the spirit token's going to go ahead and just chump our, chump our Thopter, but yeah, sweet plays from the opponent. And uh, just like that, the opponent's very, very well stabilized. I'm liking this. I think the game is pretty over if we draw a red source next turn, but again, the double declaration, or rather the declaration hitting two prized amalgams, potentially anyways, um, should be good enough. Oh wow, the opponent's attacking with everything. This could mean they have a wrath effect of some sort, like a radiant flames, as I was mentioning earlier. Um, I'm not sure if that deck is playing it, though, so I'm not actually going to chump here with the Servo, which could be correct, definitely, but I'm just going to take the hit and see what the opponent does. All right, another Smoldering Marsh. And let's see if they have a... Uh... 
Radiant Flames. No plays, though. Okay, that's good for me, I think. Do we find a red source? We... Oh, okay. So they're going to... Um, Elder Deep Fiend. Hmm. That's kind of cute. What are they going to tap here? I assume they attack... Or rather, tap the Smuggler's Copter. Um... All right, so they're tapping the copter, both my planes, and the inventor's apprentice. So, well, we're not sitting very pretty now, are we? And we did not draw. Yeah, we drew another inventor's apprentice as well. So I guess we're just passing the turn here. Hmm. We are in a bit of trouble now. Opponent is... Playing creatures that are much larger than mine. Uh, I don't technically have to block here. I can just take the hit for 11 if I want to. And I think I'm actually going to do that. Um, oh, wait. We got fast effects. A Kozilek's return means I'm definitely taking all of that. I think we are quite dead here. Red source? So I can Declaration and Stone the Prized Amalgams and then chump the Elder Deep Fiend. I could also get super greedy here. Crew up the Copter, attack in for three, get a loot, try to find a red source so that I can then play one of these creatures in addition to Declaration. Oh boy. But then that means I lose to any one removal spell. Although I can't imagine the opponent has too much. I'm going to go for the... Oh no, that's too greedy, isn't it? But then how, how am I winning in, uh, any other way? I think I need to get in for these three points of damage and get super greedy. And try to find a red source here. Oh! Unfortunately for us, that is not going to do the trick. Inspiring Vantage enters the battlefield tapped. And we are going to go ahead and lose this game one. Wow, opponent's deck seemed really cool. And... uh yeah, we're going to have to see what our sideboard can uh, show us. All right, Fragment Tie is not exactly what we want. We could bring in Mega Stands. That does not seem awful. Uh, more Gideons, maybe not so much what I want here. These outnumbers don't feel very good versus, versus this opponent uh, when they have Kozilek's returns. I'm going to bring in the Mega, Mega Stands for sure. That does mean I have to hold them open, though, which is a little bit awkward. Stasis Snares seem fine, though unexciting. I am not quite sure how I'm supposed to sideboard here for the, with this deck versus the opponent's Grixis uh, Dredgish type deck. Like, it feels like Thalia's aren't good. The Stasis Snares seem okay. Maybe even Gideon's seem okay if we're going a little bit of a longer game. Harness Lightning isn't that impressive. I, I might take that out. Go double Stasis Snare. And uh, run one Gideon here instead. An extra Gideon. Which might mean I want to bring in a... 23rd land. Hmm. I'm not actually quite sure. I, I, maybe this is more for the control matchups where you can turn your lands into spells. I think I'm going to try it like this here and see how we do for game two. Game two here with Makis Matsuka's red-white aggro tokens deck. Uh, we are on the play because, well, we lost game one. And yeah, this is a decent hand for sure. Turn one exemplar. Turn two, I can servo exhibition attack for three. Or even Thraven Inspector attack for three since Thraven Inspector does produce a clue, which is an artifact. Um, best draw for us would be a red source to go... Exemplar into something on turn two into Pia and Alar, uh, and then hold up, make a stand after that fact. But we'll see how it goes. I feel like attacking for three on turn two seems like quite the uh, quite the deal here. I imagine the Toolcraft Exemplar is the best turn one play. And opponent leading with a choked estuary. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and play the Needle Spires here. Uh, and get the Thraven Inspector online since we drew a tapped red source. Again, we still get to attack for three because of the clue. Now the real question is, do I just pass the turn? 
if the opponent doesn't do anything here. Whoa, Minister of, of Inquiries. That's awesome. So they can mill themselves and uh, get some extra value. Lightning Axe takes care of the Exemplar while discarding Haunted it. Okay, so I'm not going to play around a mess removal spell here. I will attack for one, though, and chump check the opponent. If they don't block, that's one free damage. If they do block, then I've lost almost nothing. Unless they have some way to kill a tapped creature. I doubt they're playing Murderous Compulsion, but <laughs> you never know. I am not feeling very confident. I will not... I will not lie. Opponent has access to a lot of nice removal and... Well, this deck does not exactly uh, fare well versus removal. I'm hoping we get to untap. I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna go ahead and cast anything this next turn if the opponent just passes the turn. Uh, I'll just attack in with P and LR and the Thopter holding up. Make a stand. Wow, this, the Declaration of the Stone was a really solid draw. Gets around any of those haunted dead nonsenses. All right, so the opponent... Whoa! The opponent just milled two prized amalgams with that haunted dead in their graveyard. That's insane! Uh... Wow, that's extremely gross. I'm still gonna play around a... a, uh... Kozilek return by holding this make a stand, but... All right, notably, the opponent has to do this on their or rather on my main phase, so that the prize amalgams come back on my end of turn. But, wow, we got extremely wrecked. That must have been one of the best... I mean, unless they hit three prize amalgams, I cannot imagine a better hit there for the opponent. Okay, that was nasty. And we're going to be taking nine damage here. Let's see what the opponent has it to follow that up. I'm going to go ahead and sacrifice the clue EOT, even though that puts me into Kozilek's re uh, return territory. But we did find a land. I'm going to go ahead and attack in for three ourselves here. The opponent d did also discard a Scrap Heap Scrounger to get that uh, Haunted Dead back, so lots of nice graveyard synergies from this opponent. I'm liking their deck a lot. Not something we saw too much of in the... Uh, in the uh, Pro Tour, but well, it's doing a good job here. I'm gonna go ahead and try to Declaration and Stone these prize amalgams at this point. All right, the opponent's gonna mill themselves. They hit another prize amalgam, wow. That's crazy. And so they're actually going to get back the Scrap Heap Scrounger and the prize amalgam, so I, I'm gonna go ahead and just dump out my hand. Yes, this is running into that uh, Kozilek's return I was talking about, but I think at this point, the opponent's just been getting such good hits in their graveyard that I have to go for this. What are the cards? So they have four Haunted Dead, I would assume, four Prized Amalgam, four Scrap Heap Scrounger. Oh no. And they did indeed have the Kozilek's return. That, my friends, is what we call bad news. Because now I have a Make a Stand in my hand, which is not doing anything, and the opponent has a lot of creatures in their graveyard. And the means to bring back three of them at end of turn. They get the Haunted Dead, which brings back... Oh, sorry, no. They get... Well, I guess they can get either the Haunted Dead or the... Uh, or the Scrap Heap Scrounger. We are left to sadly reanimate... Or not reanimate. Animate our Needle Spires and try to get in for four points of damage. But yeah, this game looks to be very, very over for us anyways. I like the opponent's deck. I like it a lot. But hey, this deck that I'm playing right here was one of the best decks um, constructed-wise and um, match record-wise in the tournament. So Pro Tour Kaladesh, Red White, Tokens... Apparently not the best versus what looks to be Grixis Reanimate Dredge style deck. I'm taking minimum 5 damage here. And now I'm forced to play defense. I like this. I like this a lot. Even though we're not doing the winning, this deck is uh This deck is showing us what the opponent can do at the very least. And yeah, 
Now that Elder Deep Fiend is going to come... Oh, maybe not. I thought this was going to be an Elder Deep Fiend to tap down my lands on upkeep. Oh, no, this definitely is. Wow, so the opponent's draw was it completely insane. And uh, we got absolutely stomped by them. Anyways, GG's here. We lost in two quick games to the uh, to the Grixis Dredge with uh, Makis Matsuka's red-white tokens. Thanks for watching.